Butterfly Brain Games Beauty in a Game of Chance. In our anniversary podcast special this year, we celebrate beauty with a game. I created Butterfly Brain Games as a companion to this podcast, where we entertain alternative ideas about what is beautiful. In this game, I hope you find the answers to the question that inspired it all: What is the science of beauty? Beauty, a philosophy hidden in the art of expression. A story that we write about ourselves with images etched on the canvas of our minds, an abstraction displaying both random and intelligent design. Beauty is an abstract experience involving complex neuroscience pathways affecting the mind and emotions, shaped by our personalities. And influenced by the intellect, physical metrics judging beauty are arbitrary. Can one impart beauty like a skill? In a game of random chance, the roll of dice and shuffling of cards. As the creator of Butterfly Brain Games. I am delighted to share my interpretation with you. Come, let's play a game. Create beauty with me in an immersive sensory game, reimagining the metamorphosis of a monarch butterfly. First, let us begin with a poem. No one took a second look at me. I was all of a fierce green, brown, and yellow. My body creeping on the ground, and up I went upon the thick green trunks. Alas, upon a leaf I found my rest. There, I could feast. So I ate and ate. One day I found myself too heavy, my lids too began to droop. Where would I find a place? I wondered, away from those monstrous winged creatures of the sky. I wandered a little, and there, as if someone had known, was a cocoon prepared right in front of me. I crept into it moments before I lost my last strength, and I fell asleep. In my dream, there was a garden, a splash of vivid crimsons, violets, and sky blues. I saw the most brilliant creatures, fluttering rainbow-colored wings, of myriad hues and patterns. I was jealous. Now, if the brown, yellow, and green on me would just grow wings and fly, it got colder and colder in the cocoon, and I fell into the deepest sleep. I would have thought that I had died. I found my body oh so stiff as I cracked my bones. I realized I had aged. Memories of my childhood came back to me. Without mother or father, I learned the ways of the garden alone on my own. There, I had also seen those beautiful wings of the heavenly creatures I would never be, as I crawled on my belly. My dreams ended one fateful day in that cocoon, when I grew too tired and stiff to think. I took a look at my body. It was a skeleton I could not recognize. It became clear that I would no longer be the same, and there, I breathed my last. Before I bid thee adieu, let me tell of a wonder. 
One bright morning, I stretched my paper thin wings. I opened my eyes, and lo, they were yellow, green, and brown. My heart fluttered a little. Could this really be? I lay still a while, moving those wings, and then I soared. Discover an immersive sketchbook of masterpieces drawn by you. In this game, you are the artist, and your mind is the canvas. Come. Draw, paint, and play on forty-seven black and white portraits of a meditating metaverse mannequin. A board game set inside a hardcover limited edition sketchbook, printed on specialty art paper. In this game, the canvas is also a game board, culminating in one-of-a-kind abstract artwork. Showcasing surrealist techniques of Azad Objectif, played solo or in a group, it is a meditative audiovisual experience designed to bring beauty to your mind. While you play the game, listen to the story of a twelve-day metamorphosis of a monarch butterfly, starting with the humble beginnings of a lowly caterpillar. With feelings of envy and disappointment, as it navigates the garden alone, watching the beautiful fluttering creatures of the air, the journey into the cocoon is unexpected. Just at the moment of its physical death, its spirit comes alive, and the poem ends with a beautiful transformation into a monarch butterfly. Will you help to unlock the heart of butterfly beauty? Butterfly Brain Games is a sensory game of abstract strategy designed to light up your imagination. Create art in a game of mind graffiti on chiaroscuro. Butterfly Brain Games is a right brain exercise based on the science of neuroaesthetics, imagination therapy for stress relief. Negative emotions like anxiety and depression. The reverse coloring method on inverse images created on black printed paper stimulate visual, emotional, cognitive pathways in the brain, encouraging neuroplasticity. Watch your worries fade away as you follow the path of a beautiful migrating monarch butterfly. The contrast of light and dark special effects create a brilliant canvas for the use of bright colors to light up your mind. Experience relief from negative emotions such as anxiety, stress, and depression with color and imagination therapy. Surrealist techniques without rules or judgment on mixed media. Use the brilliant colors of pastel to doodle, utilizing automatic drawing and Azad objective methods of the surrealists to create forty-seven beautiful self-portrait masterpieces. Splash on gouache, poster paints to elevate, add texture and dimension to your work. Butterfly brain games, beauty and art in a game. Beauty, a philosophy, is hidden in the art of expression. The art book, the game, and the course is a commentary on the true abstract nature of aesthetics, best defined not by beauty standards but as a philosophy. Beauty is an experience engaging our intellectual and emotional faculties, experienced through imagination. As in our observations of natural phenomena, beauty displays both characteristics of random and intelligent design. At the heart of it, organic shapes, textures, and dimensions, built as an amalgamation of fractal subunits that appeal to the human imagination.
It is my statement against manufactured beauty ideals, falsely based on the golden ratio, a bona fide hallmark of the force of intelligent design beyond nature. The science of beauty is not about aesthetic standards; rather, it tells us that complex physiological pathways involving the mind, emotions, imaginations, and individual personalities are responsible for human perception of the experience of beauty. I'm Dr. Tio Wan Lin, a board-certified dermatologist from Singapore, and the author of On Thoughts, Emotions. Facial expressions and aging, published in the International Journal of Dermatology. I'm also the host of a beauty podcast on Spotify, Dermatologist Talks: Science of Beauty, which focuses on alternative interpretations of aesthetics based on philosophy and the science of neuroaesthetics in a world of impossible beauty standards. As a researcher in the field of the brain-skin connection, my special focus is on neuroaesthetics, the science of how the brain perceives beauty, and the particular influence of art on the brain. I created this special art book and accompanying tabletop game based on a poem I wrote, entitled. Metamorphosis, chronicling the transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly. The artwork is based on a commissioned 4D metaphors mannequin, processed digitally with special chiaroscuro effects for a reverse coloring experience on black pages. Fiji art is my brainchild. My vision for it is as a master game maker. Or if you will tolerate some wordplay, a master game changer in the world of beauty. Fiji Art brings alive right brain visualization games with the mission to create beautiful minds. Explore digital games utilizing imagination therapy based on my published research on the brain skin connection and the field of neuroaesthetics. A companion to my podcast, where I explore the neuroscience behind beauty perception and research linking thoughts, emotions, and facial expressions with the aging phase. Butterfly Brain Games is a game of expression and abstraction, but also a story about self-love and loathing. My fascination with the realm of the imagination as a dermatologist began with my observations of body dysmorphophobia. In this case, sufferers experience horror and self-loathing in a purely imaginary way. Yet, it is so real it manifests with concrete reactions like continual body modification attempts, with plastic surgery, and persistent depression or even suicide. Body dysmorphophobia is a classic example of imaginations gone wrong. Sufferers see a distorted vision of themselves that is no longer consistent with reality. Yet there is a way we can try to perceive this condition. Their distorted vision of themselves directly mirrors their self-image, which is a product of their thoughts, emotions, and their personalities. Unsurprisingly, most of us can identify with self-loathing, at least at some point of time in our lives. To consider that in today's world, dissatisfaction with physical appearances can be addressed with physicians who offer you a fix. Plastic surgery can fix a broken nose, but can it fix broken perceptions? That also brings to mind the aphorism "Physician, heal thyself," except that we give a platform only to those we choose. In this game, you do your own bidding and not that of others. You are confronted with choices, but also the haphazard continuity of your thoughts. Yet somehow, in a surreal world, you manage to create a thing of beauty with broken pieces. In a game of chance, 
This sensory game provides a novel intersection point for our thoughts, emotions, imaginations lit up on the background of self-perception, embodied by the dark, somewhat monotonous yet continually evolving iterations of a black mannequin. In this game, there are some rules. The goal of the game is to help her enter the cocoon safely. By creating the largest and highest terrain, the cocoon must be suspended securely off the ground, looking down from above, in preparation for the caterpillar's transformation into a butterfly. The goal of the game is to build a stable, elevated terrain, with no part of stacked tiles overhanging. Embark on a poetic terrain-building adventure, one of rhythm, dexterity, and strategy. At each turn, draw a card, and also on the game board. But remember the wise saying: "Be not afraid of going slowly; be afraid only of standing still." The golden rule of the game, which must not be broken. This game is not timed. Played solo, the game is an immersive meditative experience. In a group, the final masterpiece is a unique keepsake that shows the intersection and dynamic flow relationships of individual personalities. Being quick, decisive, or rather thoughtful and hesitant, give rise to different expressions. And imaginations. The quicker the player decides placement of the tiles, the earlier they start to draw around it to gain more territory for their cocoon. However, in the early stages, the more thoughtful, strategic player can still gain more territory, being slower than the others, if they are able to recognize the opportunities. Finally, right at the end is a sudden death, decisive moment before the metamorphosis. Butterfly brain games allows for infinite variations. A game of art, poetry, rhythm, dexterity, and strategy. It is limited only by your imagination. May you also learn to interpret beauty in its infinite dimensions. Drawn in the mind's eye. In a narrative game of art, poetry, and abstract strategy, create art in sensory play involving board games, poetry, automatic doodling, what I like to call mind graffiti, and mixed media painting on forty-seven prefabricated chiaroscuro portraits of a meditating metaverse mannequin. Designed for all skill levels, the pieces allow for expressive reimaginations of a mixed media self-portrait with automatic drawing, azad objective methods borrowed from the surrealists. A sensory audiovisual experience with an author-narrated inspiring poem takes the user through the mental and emotional journey of a monarch butterfly undergoing a twelve-day metamorphosis, along with a how-to-use commentary guide. It is an artistic experience for all skill levels, a game of poetry and imagination. Create a portfolio keepsake of self-portraits. Printed on specialty heavyweight acid-free art paper for mixed media use, bound in a hardcover special edition with micro perforations for easy tear out, for framing your masterpieces. Also, create stunning group artwork as part of the game. The case-bound hardcover can also be used as a portfolio jacket to store and protect your masterpieces. Enter the cocoon, a poetic terrain-building game incorporated in art. Twenty playing cards with specially designed images of a caterpillar navigating different terrain paths guide a game of read-aloud poetry and tile stacking. The goal is to create an elevated terrain, a vantage point of beauty.